Okay. Then it is served. I guess you could call that a little bit of clickbait. That'll bring us to about the hour mark, which is about the mid ground that I want to do this. So, I saved you the heartache of watching water boil because it's like watching paint dry, right? I was always told now is the only time you can flavor the water. So I'm going to throw in about a teaspoon or so of salt in there. And again, that's the flavor of the water. If you are not a salt person, or you can eliminate that altogether, we'll give that a few seconds for that to finish up and uh, dissolve. And we're going to use penne pasta. I like the rigatoni, it's a little bigger. Um, Donna prefers the penne, and we buy this by the case at uh, BJ's. Hey, Janet. Hey, Carol. Welcome to part 33 and a third. We got the water already boiling. I added the salt. I added some pasta in there. I don't know how much I should be putting in there. Uh, ah, what the hell. Put it all in there. Let's <laughs> stir it up. We're going to cook this for uh, about 11 minutes. And, uh... True Italians, two things. They never use a timer, and they never use pasta in a box. So they're always doing the fresh pasta, it's like four or five minutes to cook, and uh, they know when it's ready by looking at it, and they'll grab one pasta and taste it, but uh, this is how I do it. Pre-made pasta, dump it in, 11 minutes. Thank you, Carol, same to you. Glad to have you back. You too, Janet. I appreciate it. So that's 11 minutes. I am going to turn the heat down because that will boil down over. I just need it to have boil going. Maybe a little too much water in there for it. But here are the meatballs. Again, those have been going about 45 minutes now. And I say anywhere minimum, if I'm just doing sauce, as I mentioned in series part two of the series, minimum you know 45 minutes for the sauce if you're doing meatballs hour hour 15 this will probably bring it just past the hour mark mark about an hour of 10 somewhere give or take um what don't you have oh you're talking fourth of july i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> i i have a bad memory of a lot of things these days and uh I just take it for granted and say, and same view. So, good health to you and yours then. And usually, when someone wishes me a happy whatever it is, I always say, and, and in fact, I think you said made a comment in one of my videos, and I said, uh, and the same to you and your, or something like that, being non whatever. I think most people will forgive me. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the heat just a little bit here. And uh, that's been going about a minute, so I thought I set the timer here. Ah. I'm not sure why I'm having a, an issue with this today, so um, I don't know. What do you think? Try a meatball. Might be a little bit early for the meatball, but what the hell? Every uh, so many minutes, I would get this, the wooden spoon. I don't like using metal in, on there. I would just drag everything across, and that would help mi melt, mix everything up good so not everything's sitting on the top or bottom. So there's one meatball right there. They're still a little firm, but they are cooked. I am going to burn myself here when I do this. So I'll give myself an extra few seconds for this to cool down. 
Normally I wouldn't be able to wait, wait but I think I had like 10 meatballs already. I made uh, six and then another six. I'd say it's fair to say I ate the first six myself and then I ate another three or four from the second one. Donna had the others. So maybe, maybe nine. So four. I wish I had told her to pick up some nice fresh bread, like either some French bread or Italian bread, cut some nice thick pieces. I would love to have made some uh, uh, garlic bread. We just have that nice thick bread to dip into the sauce. Because mommy's not here to smack my hand. My mother never smack me. But, you know, the Italian, you know, the stereotype of, you know, you dip in the sauce and then smack your hand. That's good. Uh, episode one of today, or of this series, you'll see me make the meatballs. And I think I worked the meat a little too much as I told you, but I had to because I, uh, I forgot to stir up the dries, so I handled it a little too much, but it will uh, soften up a little bit more. Just below. Not like Mama Monty makes. I don't know how she does it. Well, if you ever do, let us know. <laughs> I'll take you all out to eat. Because <laughs> I don't want to cook at that point. <clears throat> Start the pasta up a little bit. Meatballs are good. When my mother makes them, I think I prefer them in the sauce. But she just does it so well. Uh, if I'm doing it, I prefer the roasted because when I do it in the sauce, it doesn't come out quite like hers, and I haven't figured that out why yet. If I go there, I used to be there when I uh, lived with my parents. I used to see her watch her make, make that stuff every day, you know. And, you know, every day was a big meal, and then Sunday's seven course meals, you know. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Turn up the heat a little bit more for the pasta. Ah, uh, Carol, my dad used to love dipping his bread. And then he used to tell him to behave himself. <laughs> Two ways to take that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna fill up my uh, glass. No more soda for me today, just water. Yesterday I was extra tired, so uh, I had a little extra caffeine, soda caffeine. Seven course meals. Wow, yeah. Well, I say that as a, you know, that's the big meal. You know, when they say big meal, they always refer to it as a seven course meal. You know. Um, Carol, are you on my Facebook page, Mario's Domain, or Instagram? You will see a big smorgasbord from this past Sunday. Um, that's actually small compared to what it used to be. On a Sunday, uh, my father did the barbecuing. My mother did everything else. But uh, that'll just give you an idea, a small sampling of what it used to be like every Sunday. But now, like, double that, you know? So if you look on Facebook and search Mario's Domain, M-A-R-I-O-S, or apostrophe S, domain, D-O-M-A-I-N, you'll see it. Also, Instagram, just search for my name. Uh, same with uh, Twitter or Google+. Plus. I think I posted on all that. YouTube is the only place I can't post pictures like that. <clears throat> this burner is a little too big for this pan, but um, general rule for these type of tops is the circle should not be more than an inch larger than the pan. Now, I don't know if it's an inch total or an inch per side, but this has a smaller circle. Unfortunately, that would barely get this thing to boil. I'll, I'll better if it was on the other burner in the front, but I have the sauce on there, so it is what it is. You're making me Hank Marvin again. Every time I hear Marvin, I think Marvin Martian.
we got about four minutes left now I did forget I thought I set the timer on the stove and uh, I may I may or may not have I'm not sure to be honest with you because it looked wrong and I hit a button so uh, I'm gonna have to do the uh, old-fashioned taste test because if I'm wrong if I'm right we're good if I'm wrong I'll be overcooking it in about two three minutes and that's not good oh Okay, I know people around here has, uh, would say I'm starving like Marvin, so that must be where the reference came from. It still needs time, so I probably had the timer right then. Uh, it was also a character on uh, South Park, uh, starring Marvin or something like that. I'm assuming that's where those references have come from. <clears throat> I'm going to give this another stir. And like I said, I would just kind of be easy with it. Just pull it through like this. That will give it a nice stir. And uh, these meatballs are now coming up above the sauce. That's because a lot of it, uh, the fluids have... Uh, Evaporated. I'm going to turn up the heat a little. The sauce is still a little wet for my taste. It will thicken up though. Now, when I go to dump the sauce, there's a rule about sauce. I, I'm sorry, the pasta is you want to, as soon as you drain all that water, you want to make sure you put the sauce or the butter or whatever it is you can use. Otherwise, the pasta will stick. So don't just dump it into a bowl and walk away. That's what some restaurants do. And then they'll put, I'll show you what they do restaurant style, is they'll put pasta in a plate and then just put a little plop of sauce in it. So it's, none of the pasta is covered with sauce. And, you know, it's usually sticky. It doesn't taste good. So I'll, what I'll probably do is just grab a bowl, plop some sauce on top, give you a look, take a picture or two, and then... Um, We'll go on to the next. Okay, Carol and Janet. Says I got four people on. The audience has shrunk since uh, part one a little bit. Made my little clip for my 3D printer. I don't need this middle piece here, but I needed to build a support. I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get that out of there. So I'll have to figure out how to reprint it, because this is a throwaway now. Yeah, not really. I was able to break it out. That's good. A lot of wasted plastic. That's the waste, and that's the part I have not yet mastered. Whoop. Stop talking about that. Let's get this off here. Let me give you a look at the sink over there. Oh, that's too much pasta. <laughs> Way too much pasta. Now the pasta will continue to cook when it's in the sauce, if you were just doing this with butter or something, it wouldn't continue to cook. But I made way too much pasta. Oh yeah, this is enough for like five people. Okay, oh, that wasn't good that I did that. Let me, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do to do this. I'll put this right here. I just have to plate on the burner. Never done that before. Okay, so I'm going to get my plastic scoop here and just start drizzling some of that. See that sauce is still a little liquidy. It will thicken up like I said. All right, let's go ahead and mix that up. If I had had this sauce on a higher simmer, uh, it would have definitely dissolved more. I always like a little more sauce, but I'm just not. But again, I am making this. 
but I am determined. Now normally we would just kind of do it like a self-serve, but I am actually just going to grab a few meatballs and place them here. I think I said we had 32 meatballs in total. And they will not go to waste, I assure you. So we're going to put six there. If I hadn't eaten already, I'd say I could pound back about a dozen of those meatballs right now, no problem. I think I already uh, went back about nine. So, a little fanciness there. Hang this off to the side. And I do need to take a picture. Bear with me one second. In the meantime, I will put this right here so you can see it. As soon as it lets me bend the phone, that is. All right. And, uh... Carol and Janet, this will be up on my Instagram and Facebook page, hopefully later today. But that's what we got. Dinner's up! Sorry if that was loud on the phone. Now, my daughter will have this in a bowl. You know, I like a plate myself. And uh, make sure I'm not pressing any buttons here. Natalia? Yeah? You want your pasta in a bowl? Do you want a meatball? Nothing. No? Okay. Do you want to try one? No. You always like it. You always like it. The audience wants to see you eat it. Or hear you that you ate it. <laughs> okay. So, there's the little one's the pasta. I made too much pasta, by the way. I didn't think it was that much. Alright. Now, I'm going to make up mine. Let me tilt this a little bit here. Yeah, that's why I don't like the meatballs there, because it gives you a hard time. Now, I would have loved to have had some, um, some uh, garlic bread or some bread to dipping. And I just kind of really slipped my mind on that. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'll do up three meatballs here. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Put my plate back here for pitcher's sake, although I did a terrible job placing the food for pitchers. I think a smaller plate would be better, but I always grab a large plate. So, let's... I see you type something, Carol. Let me give me give me that. I put a wee bit of olive oil in my pasta while cooking. Yep, I've I've seen and heard that as well. That way it doesn't stick. Are you a wee bit Italian as well? Are yes. So uh, so on Facebook, look for Mario's Domain M A R I O S, and then Domain D O M A I N. Um. So yeah, my uh, both my parents are from Italy. I am first generation here. I don't speak Italian really well. Very little. But uh, it is what it is. Yes, exactly. Um, domain means kind of like property, castle, you know, that kind of thing. That's kind of a thing. Um, I didn't want to dedicate it uh, strictly to food because that's not uh, um, that's the main part of my channel these days but uh, I wanted to uh, encompass everything I do I will at some point get the new web page this is delicious by the way get the web page set up and um, uh, the, the vlogs and stuff will be separated on the web page between food work woodworking building stuff And I still need a little more sauce on this. Glad you could serve. Now it's gonna get a lot of sauce on it. Yeah. Let's try a meatball. Yeah, that's right. Mm -mm -mm.
No, it's going to be about 50 years probably until we can do something like that. Probably even longer. Star Trek age, that is. But then you can just beam yourself over, right? Well, 20 minutes. I think the shortest live I did was 6 minutes, but that was just a quick test for my uh, 4K cameras. Or 4K webcam, I should say. Um, oh, Mario. Yeah. Those meatballs are good. Don is screaming at the top of her lungs. The meatballs are good. Mm -hmm. So, I did something right, right? Um, it's a bit of work, but you saw it was about a half an hour to make the meatballs, okay? Then it was uh, maybe 20 minutes to prep for the sauce and start to cook it. And then uh, an hour to cook everything. The actual working time of actually doing stuff, half hour for sauce, 20, so maybe an hour of work, no, not including cleanup, of course. And then, uh, you know, the sauce is gonna sit and cook for an hour, and then boil pasta. So, you know, two, three hours, depending. And in that two to three hours, if I wanted to, I could easily have done some chicken cutlets in between there, because uh, I would have started that halfway through the sauce cooking, you know, to get those cooking. And then I would have put them in a pan and either put it in the oven or the breville to, when I do that, and you'll see a video when I do chicken cutlets. I get my white ceramic pan that's up here. I layer it with a little bit of the sauce that's there. Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. Put the breaded chicken cutlets there. A little more sauce. Um, mozzarella. I use the low moisture mozzarella. And then sprinkle a little more palm cheese on there. You heat it up at a lower temperature, maybe 330. To get that cheese nice and melted. And just so there's some brown spots on it. So you know it's nice and gooey. And uh, it comes out awesome. <clears throat> Bye, Carol. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, yeah, Janet and garlic bread. I, I didn't even think of asking her to pick up some nice French or Italian bread at the, at the store. Uh, again, this was a short video just to show you the final pages. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, so, thank you. Uh, Please, thumbs up if you enjoyed this, if it was helpful. Three-part series. I may do part four tomorrow, where I do some chicken cutlets. Bread in, make some chicken parm. We'll see. Uh, and when you do make chicken cutlets, you can make them one day, and then the next day, parm them if you want. So, again, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, ring the notification bell so you know when I put on a new video and a new live. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care. And can I have more? Oh, she's here for more. That doesn't happen often at all. Give me ten scoops, please. Ten scoops? Oh, I don't know about ten scoops. Thank you for ten scoops. Thank Ooh. you, Janet. Thank you very much. Thank you again, Carol. I believe those are the only two that got commented. It says there's about a half a dozen people on. I appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Krasker, I just saw you say something. I didn't see you earlier. Take care.